Ugh. I'm Kyle Peterson, and I just took on the pickle pop challenge. Pickle, pop, pickle, pop, 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 pickle, pickle, pickle. Drop your pickles. Up. Oh, don't worry, I won't drop. Do you need any help? No, I got it. Okay. All right, so we've got all of our pickles. The only way to have pickles is to start off with a little bit of pickle juice. Mmm. Oh gosh. Uh. <sighs> Can you stop eating pickles and driving, please? I'm probably gonna drink this entire jar. There's a, there's an officer right there that's like looking at you eating your pickles and driving. That's might be against the law here in Thermopolis. Well, here's the thing about Thermopolis. They're known for a couple of different things. Dinosaurs, the Wyoming Dinosaur Center, which is one of the top dinosaur museums in the entire world. They're also known for having the world's largest mineral hot spring. And last, but certainly not least, is the fact that they're also the birthplace of pickle popsicles. And that's where we're headed today to a little ice cream shop that actually serves these pickle popsicles. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna buy every single one of those pickle popsicles and I'm gonna eat them all over the course of the next 30 minutes. Uh, to get myself warmed up, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish drinking this entire jar of pickle juice and then I'm gonna eat all the pickles. Oh, God. <laughs> Delicious. What you guys don't know is that every time we go on trips, we have to get these pickles for Coyote. And it goes through like, I don't know, like two or three a day. He's got a problem. Some might say he's got an addiction to pickles. And, you know, fortunately we have to provide him these pickles in order for him to perform. Because otherwise, otherwise he can't remember his lines. He's just not really a good performer without his pickles. Hello, my name's Pickle. Pickle Peterson, you want a pickle? You're doing it! You're swinging! Swinging pickles! Here it is, Dairyland, the birthplace of pickle pops. All right, let's park and head in there to buy all of their pickle pops. There's no question about it, this looks like a place. Let's check the menu. <laughs> Boom, right there, pickle pop. The most valuable thing on the menu. Looks like it must be a popular place, so we're gonna have to get in line. Hi there, how are you? You guys have pickle pops? Yes, we do. I would actually like to order all of your pickle pops. So we have 10 right now. 10. Okay, as I understand it, the current standing world record is eight pickle pops eaten in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna buy all 10 of these and try to set a new world record. Is that okay? Yeah, that's perfect. Now, this is kind of crazy, but do you think there's any way that we could see where the pickle pops are actually made? Yes. If you just come back and I'll show you. For real? Yeah. What is your name? Madeline. Madeline, I'm Coyote. Oh. You're serious, I can come back and see where you guys make the pickle pops. Yes. Sweet, all right, we're gonna check out the factory. Let's go. So this is amazing. We just got behind the scenes access here at Dairyland to find out how they make pickle pops. Whoa, look at that jar of pickles. This is sanitary, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so you just take a cup and pour the juice. Like that. It's not as high tech as I would have thought, but that is incredible. So 
So the Pickle Pops start their life journey out here in the factory, and then they actually move to the storefront where you can purchase them. So basically at this point, I think you can leave me here with the okay. Pickle Pops. You did an awesome okay. job Thank you. showing me the process of making Pickle Pops, and this is where it all comes together right here, folks. I'm about to eat 10 Pickle Pops, and as you guys saw already, the process is quite scientific. You actually just pour the pickle juice into this mold maker and then you freeze it. Now, I can't tell you exactly what the temperature is because then anybody would just be able to make pickle pops and they wouldn't be as special. But here in Thermopolis, this is one of the most popular mid-afternoon treats. Now, the only thing that I feel like these pickle pops are actually missing are some real pickles. So the good news is I brought another jar of pickles just for myself because what washes down pickle pops better than water? Pickle juice. Actually, just to wet my whistle, I'm gonna get started. Oh, yeah, you don't wanna eat the garlic ball. Mmm. It's so good right when it hits your lips. Okay, let's see. I don't know where to start. Do I start on the left? Do I start on the right? Do I try to eat them all at once? Once you pop a pickle pop, you really can't stop. So I'm just gonna start right here. This one looks like it's starting to melt. Look at that. Look at the coloration. Neon yellowish green. You know it's good when it's neon. I'm gonna take my first bite completely unknowing what this is going to be like. Extremely salty. Wow, that is a salty pickle pop. Now it's probably a little bit better if I actually dip it into the pickle juice just like that. Yeah, well, pickle pops here in Thermopolis definitely are delicious. Now the real question is, Will I be able to eat all 10 of these pickle pops? That's a real question. This might take a while. After a long day out there searching for fossils with the Wyoming Dinosaur Center, I just felt like I needed something salty. And once I discovered the fact that Dairyland here is the birthplace of this new phenomenon, pickle pops, taking pickle juice and actually freezing it so you can enjoy it as a salty but cooling summer treat. I said to myself, you know what? We've got to make an episode about this. I think the thing you guys are all asking yourselves right now is, Coyote, if you eat all of these pickle pops, are you going to puke up pickles? Pickle puke would probably be the grossest puke you could possibly puke. For a person that likes pickles, he's doing horrible. I really thought he was going to plow through those and enjoy them. Seems like he's already at his weak stomach phase. He always, you know, he's got a bit of a squeamish stomach. So I can probably predict what's gonna happen. Last six. Mmm. Come on, do it. A seven. Seven and a, and a half. It's so cold. Okay, I'm officially down to the last two partially melted pickle pops here at Dairyland. The birthplace of the pickle pop. Honestly feeling a little sick at this point, but I'm determined to finish the last two. I think I'm gonna pass out. Oh man, so many pickles. They're melting, go, go, go. Do it. The brain freeze. Ah! My brain is so cold! Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be able to eat another pickle as long as I live. There we go. Just out of you and me, Lone Pickle Pop. Number 10. You gotta just kinda slush it around a little bit. You gotta really mix it in. Helps to go down a little easier. There you go. That's the last one. Do it. I think we're. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. Keep it in. Get the last, get the last piece in. <sighs> Swallow it, swallow it. 
I've done it. I've eaten all 10 of the pickle pops. Gotta hold it down. And now I'm going to drink what was left of the pickle juice. And there you have it. Coyote Peterson has set the record for the most pickle pops eaten in a single setting here in the birthplace of pickle pops, Thermopolis, Wyoming. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see on the next location. Okay, here come the pickles. Oh boy. Oh. What's going? <laughs> I kept the pickles down for a short period of time, but unfortunately, I have puked up the pickles and the pickle pops. But I still set the world record. It's definitely a world record, I think. Probably. Ow! Man! You see me in the face with a pickle! Channel, I know pickle. If you thought taking on the Pickle Pop Challenge seemed like a crazy way to cool off in the summer heat, then make sure to go back and watch the episode where I battled the brain freeze blizzard of Hawaiian shaved ice. And don't forget, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next location. Thank <laughs> you.